Well, Stephen Ray has been the driving force behind the newly revived theatre side of Field Day Theatre Company, the iconic theatre and publishing house set up in Derry in the early 80s by himself and playwright Brian Friel. And now Stephen is celebrating Field Day and its unique relationship with another literary titan, Seamus Heaney. Stephen, good evening to you. How are you doing? What did Seamus mean to you? Well, um, apart from knowing him and apart from he comes from roughly the same place as we all do, he, he was an extraordinary international figure. Um, and he took poetry to a different level in terms of the amount of people who receive it and feel connected to it. And um, he did it all with a kind of, mostly a kind of genial ease. Um and he took a bit of the mystery, the unnecessary mystery, away from poetry. Was he a, a natural fit onto the Field Day board? Can you remember who, who asked him to join? Well, um, Brian and I asked uh, to, together, decided all who to ask. And, of course, Heaney was a big friend of Brian's, and he was an obvious choice. Uh, but we had an extraordinary board, as you know, uh, not just Seamus Heaney, but Seamus Dean, David Hammond, Tom Pollan, and then Tom Kilroy. So um, an extraordinary bunch of heads around that table. His first and only play, The Cure at Troy, was for Field Day. I remember being there on, on the opening night and uh, the, the resonance of the words uh, has continued uh, th- throughout the years since since he wrote them. Was that a, a special moment for Field Day to be holding a... Uh, a Heaney play in your hands? Oh, well, it was extraordinary, yeah. Um, I, you find the poets are nervous to enter into the theatrical environment um, because it is it is unfamiliar to them and uh, it, it, it demands a lot of uh, technical knowledge. But he was a natural and I happened to produce a play that really was for the moment and ended up being quoted and misquoted by presidents uh, in terms of how long-term struggles can be resolved and uh, reconciled. Uh, So it was hugely important, a hugely important intervention at that time, I think. You're going to be curating a, a weekend, not this weekend, but the following weekend, the, the 24th and 25th, at the Seamus Heaney home place yeah. in Balahi, um, which also includes Liam O'Flynn and concert. And uh, the BBC film, you mentioned Davy Hammond there, but the BBC film of Something to Write Home About, which was written by Seamus and directed by David. Um, so after that, you're going to be reading yourself the obituary that that uh, Seamus wrote for David. It's it's a it's a rare mix, isn't it, of of friendship and words and memory and love. It's all in the mix there, isn't it? Well, very much so. And you know, because David's film was, uh, I hope you'll see it. But it um, it's a beautiful film, and it is full of love for Seamus and everything that Seamus had lived through and and the person that he was, and and that's reciprocated in. Uh, uh, obituary that Seamus wrote for David. Um, it's it's a wonderful tribute to a life lived without sectarianism, uh, with a kind of love of all the things that make life good. You know, music, film, poetry, theatre. You know, so uh, we thought that not just to show the film that we'd also. Uh, uh, listen to what Seamus had to say about David. I think it's a, a rare and intimate uh, glance, isn't it, uh, for, for people oh, outside of that right. world? You know, I hope nobody thinks it's mawkish or anything. I just think they were such great men and such great friends. And, of course, friendship was very much part of what Field Day was, you know. To put Field Day to one side just for the moment, you're heading to London tomorrow, I believe, to celebrate another anniversary, 25 years of the crying game. Well, it hasn't been, um, you know, 25 years relentless experience of the crying game. <laughs> but um, yes, I think I didn't. I didn't realise. But it's 25 years since it was first screened. Yeah. And um, don't give away any plot spoilers. Oh no, no. I, I, <laughs> if they don't know by now, they'll never know. <laughs> and uh, uh, 
Yeah, it's just a hugely important film, I think. Well, obviously, personally, but for, I think, for the country as well. Yeah. It was about seeing difficult things in a broader way, you know, and uh, it was a hugely important, also an intervention.